I have some thoughts in this area. <laughs> so as Pop mentioned, I'm part of uh, the Kubernetes SIG security, or not SIG security, what am I talking about? SIG Contribex, which is the, the special interest group. We'd in love you in SIG security and in, in SIG if you want to join I'm us. I'm not right. yet. <laughs> Maybe someday. <laughs> I keep doing uh, Twitch shows with Tabitha and Brad. <laughs> I'll end up there. But um, I'm part of the special interest group for contributor experience. And this is one of the things that we really care about from a contributor perspective. I think there's a couple of perspectives here of how do we make Kubernetes easier for new folks who want to understand and contribute to it and for those who need to use it. We need to be working on both of those sides. So from the contributor perspective, a lot of folks in contributor experience, this is like top of their lists, you know, is how do we make Kubernetes easier for people to understand and start contributing to? So we have a few efforts going on there. There's great documentation about how to get started contributing. We'd like to work on, or we are working on uh, some videos to help people understand. Well, I guess we switched it to text, but we're working on some new contributor workshop type uh, stuff. Normally at KubeCons, we would host a new contributor workshop where we work folks through what it's like to start contributing to Kubernetes. So we're trying to make that uh, content more accessible. And from the end user side, it's it can be so difficult to know where to start with Kubernetes. We need to have really good entry points where we explain what Kubernetes is and why it matters to you. And then give you some points to start exploring from there. So we need to be really careful with our wording and the ways that we bring people in and make sure that we give them a path to move forward and keep learning in Kubernetes. Totally agree with Kaz. I think, you know, one thing I'll add to that is like, we come from the dark ages of like having to like take up doing Kubernetes the hard way, shout out to you, Kelsey. And if you think about it, there's tools that made things easier, things like, you know, Minikube. My guy over there created that, right? So it's like, and then things like Kind that made it easier for that. So, you know, it, what I'm saying is is time and adoption will help things get easier from that perspective. And I think there'll be a point where we opsificate even like the operational burden that is Kubernetes, right? It'll be kind of, hey, we have things like Pulumi out there. We have like Terraform. We have all these tools that help like deploy the backend stuff. So it's gonna be a developer can literally just, you know, spin things up as necessary. But I totally agree with Kaz on this one. It's like, look, it's the endpoints here that people are pointing things to that I think will make things easier from that perspective, so. Yeah, I'll, I'll echo the same as well. It, it's a, uh, from a technology perspective, again, it's a steep learning curve, but um, I guess there are, like for new folks, um, you need to start from the basics, maybe or from containers and just moving step by step. There are a lot of free resources available at this point. Uh, there are a lot of learning paths as well available. If you want to onboard um, into Kubernetes, I think there is a, um, there was an announcement uh, about a new certification coming up for um, um, during KubeCon. The KCNA seems like that's a beginner uh, level certification for. Shout um, out to Katie Gamanjian. Gamanjian. Uh, yeah. From CNCF. Yeah, from CNCF. Absolutely. But for getting that certification, like for new folks, um, there is a learning path um, which you can take and just ramp up your knowledge on um, on the CNCF technologies and Kubernetes especially. So if you have not taken a look on, on KCNA, just, just Google it maybe. And then there's a lot of good information, a um, lot of like learning paths um, associated with that training as well. I should give a shout out to Sivo Cloud too, by the way, another great company, like 90 seconds, you can have a cluster up. Um, that and back in the day, if you think about back in the day, like again, having to spin up things the hard way, tough. GKE can spin up an instance, like all of these managed services, you know, AKS, EKS, all these things that are out there, the barrier to entry to getting into Kubernetes is less and less than it's ever been. And I think it's gonna get even easier for new users as the adoption grows.